Now the, the freshness of this plant betrays uh, a little bit uh, what is behind because the oil coming out when you distill it, if you distill it, is quite difficult. Actually, people call it even toxic. Now, why is it toxic? It contains a lot of very complex ketones. Ketones is a group of compounds in essential oils, you can say, yeah, in, in plants. And ketones are everywhere. It's a big family. And the mon so-called monoterpene ketones are the real heavy guys. And with these, we want to pay attention. And if you don't have heard about them before in teaching maybe yeah, with Marie, then we will uh, remind you of using ketones very cautiously in certain dilutions. We will come back to that, of course. Yeah, here I just mentioned it. Ketones are energy givers. They are very uplifting. They go right into the central nervous system and they are in uh, medicinal, medicinal aromatherapy or even you could say spiritual aromatherapy. They are considered the highest energies or the highest vibrating frequencies yeah, of uh, compounds. Yeah. So uh, we want to use such energies in a careful, reasonable way and usually you would say a few drops even of this in a dilution doesn't matter at all in a fat oil, in a carrier oil. But you would not like to take such an oil, for example, direct. Yeah, you would probably not do it, especially not the British, <laughs> because you may know that the British foster massage aromatherapy. Yeah, just to just give you the three main the three main directions of aromatherapy. All the British here is a representative. They want a massage, and that's it. <laughs> You are very close, yeah? Now, the French is the opposite. They are not, uh, <coughs> that they are, I don't think they are shy of touch, but, <laughs> but they foster a lot oral aromatherapy intake of essential oils with, uh, of course, all the reasonable caution which uh, must be included in that. <laughs> but it comes from the fact, the fact that the, Brit the French were the first to use aromatherapy. Yeah. And the people who started aromatherapy in France were the ones who were doctors and scientists and they prescribed essential oil as medicine. Yeah. That was uh, what Valnet did and all the others, uh, even Gat Fossé. I mean, people who were the forerunners of aromatherapy, but they did not mind to take an oil inside in a, of course, also prudent way diluting, sometimes even not diluting. We will come back to that, yeah, of course. So this oil, for example, you could take orally because it does not burn. It is not phenolic. Yeah, phenols are another group of compounds. It is not phenolic, but it's ketonic. And as I said, ketones have this strong effect on the central nervous system, but they have also one effect more, which is they attack everything which is let's say fat, yeah? everything which is earthy and fat, matter, let's say, the matter energy, they are the antagonists. Yeah? They, uh, they are compounds which, for example, in the human physiology, ketones develop when you are fasting, for example. Yeah? We would develop more ketones. Or when people get older, yeah? then the physiology of an elderly person develops more ketones. Why is it? What, what is behind that? Now, my theory is that, uh, and that I, I always joke about this, ketones are the disincarnators. Yeah. They develop more when the theme is a little bit away from physiology, a little bit away from body, yeah. more and more away from the body. Now, you would not give ketonic oils, for example, to pregnant women who are preparing life for incarnation, you know? And to children, you know, who want to develop their physiology. That's totally contradictory. But a person, for example, who wants uh, now to focus more on, you know, the other aspect of life, which is uh, also, of course, has its, own, has its own right, then you can say, okay, why not? Why not a little bit hyssop or sage? Or 
artemisias, which are very ketonic, a whole group, we will speak about this. Why not a little bit, even if you practice some yeah. yoga, some meditation, before that you will see, <laughs> you will feel the difference. Uh, okay. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one, one example, when Christ, you know, the story of Christ, when Christ is crucified, uh, he is given hyssop. Yeah. Hyssop is a holy plant of the Jewish culture, yeah, of the Jewish religion. And hyssop is fully of, full of ketones. So what were people wanting to do with that? Yeah. It, since there was a tradition in Israel, the Jews, peop, Jewish people anyway to use hyssop, they wanted to give him a kind of support. Just release your body. That's, that's a message. Release your body. Yeah, it's uh, easier to get away from the body if you use ketones. Yeah. Okay? 